Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we will discuss about one more topic in Pushdown Automata that is instantaneous description that is ID. It is also called as an informal notation of PDA. Instantaneous description. So which we call it as ID and mainly this instantaneous description is used to check the acceptance of a string, the acceptance of string, right. So after constructing the, after designing the delta function, transition functions, we need to check whether the string of the particular language is accepted by the given transition function or not. So in order to check the acceptance of the string, we are we are going with this instantaneous description. So ID of PDA, we call it as ID of PDA. And this is represented in triple. So one is a Q, another one is a W, another one is a G. So Q is a current state. Q is a current state. And W is input string to be processed and gamma content of the stack. So whatever the content available in the stack that will be represented in gamma and W is an input string need to be processed and double Q is a current state and this ID is represented as the symbol so we can simply call as fallen T right and this is called as turnstile notation turnstile notation so if it is like this it is represented for a single move and if the same foreign T with a star, it represents multiple or sequence of moves. Sequence of moves. So if it is a single one, that we call it as a single move. If it is like this, this is called a multiple or a sequence of moves. So we will give the ID of PDA for the given examples. Already in the previous sessions, we have seen the two examples. So one is a, a, some a power n and b power n, where n greater than or equal to one, right? And we have seen the language for this particular question. And one more question we have seen that is a power n, b power m, c power n. So m comma n greater than or equal to one. So we have seen the two problems a power n and a power n b power m and c power n so we we'll, we will check whether the string of this particular language is accepted by the given transition functions or not by using this id right so we need to represent it in triple and the notation is turnstile notation now let us start this one So L is equal to A power N, B power N, okay, and N greater than or equal to 1. So let us write the write down the strings. So A B A A B B A A A B B B and so on. Right? This is the string. Now let us write the transition functions and then we will check the ID that means we will check the uh, whether the string is accepted or not. See these are the transition functions for this particular uh, language and now we will check whether it is accepted. If we will consider the string as this one. So A A A followed by B B B and we need to check whether this string is accepted or not by using this instantaneous description. So as we have said that 
it should be represented as triple so first a current state that is a q0 and what is the input we need to process a a a b b right and what is the stack initially the stack value is zero turn style notation turn style notation what would be the output here so q0 and this is the input right q0 on a with the z0 so q0 on a z0 it gives this one right now so q0 what is the remaining string so a a b b b and a z0 hope you understood this one first we are processing this input a so we are we have to check q0 or with a as input and z1 z0 as a stack a top of the stack so the output will be see you can observe here q0 on a with z0 will result q0 comma a z0 so q0 the same state and other than this input so i this particular input has been processed so we need to consider the remaining output, remaining input so a a b b b and z0 we are replacing with a z0 right we are pushing the a now q0 on a with a on the top okay q0 on a with a on the top you can observe here we got the transition function q0 on a with a it gives an a a z0 so again it's a single move so q0 on after after uh, processing this a whatever whatever the remaining this one this one a b b a a z0 so the top of the stack will be a a z0 now you can observe q0 on a with a q0 on a with a so again we need to write the same thing so q0 again we need to push the input so after processing here the remaining string now the resultant will be a a a z0 a a a z0 now q0 on b with a so q0 on b with a so what is this one so all these are nothing but a pop so if you are using the epsilon that implies that is a pop and the current state has been changed to q1 so the resultant will be q1 and after processing this input the remaining is b and b pop that means this a will be removed so a a z0 will be the remaining content available in the stack again q1 on b with a q1 on b with a so similarly so it will be q1 b whatever the rem remaining st input string and after popping this one so a z0 and again the same thing q1 b on a so here all the string has been processed so epsilon end of the string is epsilon so if you process all the complete string the last one will be the epsilon so epsilon and z0 because here we are applying the pop operation now q1 on epsilon is z0 so still the stack is having some z0 so again we will pop it so it will go to the q2 next state with epsilon so automatically it will be pop so if you get this one so we can simply say it as accepted accepted that the above string is accepted because so there is no third one that is there is no element in the stack there is no element in the stack so if the stack is empty after processing all the inputs simply we can say it as accepted by the language so here the acceptance can be done in two ways so empty stack and final state so if the input processed and after uh, completion of this input processing so if the state is a final state we can say that the string is accepted or if the input is completely processed then the stack is empty automatically we can say the string is accepted so in both the cases we can simply say the string is accepted so here this is called the turn style notation and this process we call it as ID, which is nothing but instantaneous description of PDA, given PDA, right? Now we'll go with the second language, and again we'll see the second example, and we'll close. So, what is the second language here? We have seen b power m, c power n, 
m comma n greater than or equal to 1. So the strings can be a, b, c, a, a, b, c, c, a, a, b, b, c, c, a, 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 b, c, 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 and so on. So n is equal, so a values, I mean the number of a's and number of c's will be equal and and uh, similarly we can write the strings. So these are all the possible strings for the above language. And for this also we have created the transition functions and after seeing the transition functions we will take one uh, string and we will uh, write the instantaneous description for the particular PDA. See this is the transition functions which we have uh, created uh, or constructed in the previous session for this particular language. Now we have to consider one string and we need to check whether the string is accepted or not. So let us take this one. So the string is A, A, B, C, C. Now you can observe here first let us start with the Q0, the initial state, whatever the what, uh, next one is the input we need to process that is A, A, B, C, C and initially the top of the stack is J0. So one move, single move, okay, turn stand rotation and the same state, it remains in the same state, you can observe here Q0 A on Z0, Q0 A on Z0, Q0 A Z0. So after completion of this, whatever the remaining, we need to write the string and A Z0 will be the uh, available contained in the stack. Now you can observe here Q0 A on A, so Q0 A on A, simply push another A. So Q0, whatever the remaining content, that is a B, C, C and A, A, Z0. Right? Now you can observe here Q0, B with A, Q0, B with A, Q0, B with A. So Q1, it will change to new state and then the stack will be remain same. So Q1, C, C and A, A, Z0. So unchanged, right? The content of the stack will be unchanged. There will be no push and no bump. Now Q1 on C with A. Q1 on C with A. So these two are nothing but a pop operations. So we need to pop the element. So simply turn to notation. So Q1 on C with A, it moves to Q2, C on A, Z0. Again, Q2 on C with A. Q2 on C with A. So simply we can write it as, so Q2 again pop operation, so Epsilon with a Z0. You can see Q2 Epsilon Z0, Q2 Epsilon Z0 which is nothing but you need to apply the pop operation. So automatically Z0 will also be removed and the stack is empty. So whenever we got this one, simply we can say it as accepted, accepted, right? So the string. So whatever the string we are considering, the string is accepted by the PDA because this ID will be uh, done with the help of the transition functions. So first we, we have to calculate the transition functions and then we are supposed to check whether the string is accepted or not. So based upon these uh, transition functions, so we are getting the empty stack after processing the complete input. The stack is empty. So if the stack is empty, then we can say that the string is accepted by the PDA. So this is the process of instantaneous description, which is for acceptance of a string by the PDA. Right? So hope you understood this one. If you are having any doubts regarding this process, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.